Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos with cash envelope stuffing. I'm a couple days late from this pay period. I got paid on Friday, but I was working all weekend. So here we are at Monday doing a cash envelope stuffing video. If you like seeing videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. It's really encouraging when I see the number of subscri subscribers increase and it just kind of gives me that push to make more videos like this. So we will start with this week's amount of cash, which is $200. Um, and I have a number of different envelopes here. So actually we've, I have fully funded one of these envelopes for a goal that um, is now completed. So Sorrel wanted to buy a pair of really expensive jeans. And I thought they were gonna be closer to like almost $400 because they're like this raw denim, but it turns out he found a pair that he liked for 200. So he wants to buy a pair of expensive work pants. So what I'm gonna do is just take the $200 that out of this envelope and put it towards those pants. So 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. And I'm just gonna put that right back into our bank account. And what we have left is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160. And I've just written that here, 160. And our next category is for a pair of headphones that Sorrel wants. Um, so it's, he's not sure how much they're going to be yet. He's not like me. He's not like obsessively researching before he buys. He's, um, yeah, he's just, uh, doing some research now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. We're going to add 20 to make 200. Oh, there goes all my envelopes. They're actually starting to get like pretty full these days. So. That's a good problem to have, <laughs> full envelopes, full of money. And my next envelope is for Christmas, and I'm gonna add $20 to this category to make a total of 160, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, and I'm gonna add 20 to make 160. And for my next envelope, I am going to add $20 into the pet fund for my golden retriever. So I have 80 in there right now, and I'm going to add 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, and add another $20 to make 100. I guess that's just about one vet visit fully funded. So we were kind of talking about it and thinking like, Maybe $2,000 is a good amount to have on hand for a pet emergency. Now my next envelope is for my hair appointment. So 20, 40, 60, I'm gonna add 20 for a total of 80. I'm getting my hair cut in a couple of weeks. So it's about $60 for a haircut. For my upcoming nuptials, I have $80. 20, 40, 60, 80, and I like, I'm gonna add 20 to make 100. I hit hold no illusions that this is going to be like a $5,000 envelope. Um, I'm kind of buying things as we go along. The last couple of weeks have been so expensive for like wedding costs. I bought um, a couple of cases of wine for $700. Sorrel bought his suit for around 500. We bought the best man suit for 300. Um, I bought a veil for 200. Who knew veils were so much money, by the way? Um, but just about everything has been, the deposit's been put down on everything, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then we just have to pay the remaining balance, like on the food and the venue and flowers, and I think that's pretty much it. And we have to rent the church, but yeah. So my next category is for my car. I have $120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. I'm gonna add 20 to make 140. Getting my car detailed in a couple of weeks. That will be a couple hundred dollars. 
My next envelope is for photos for a photo shoot. Um, and there's 140, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. And we're going to add 20 to make a total of 160. And that is um, for a goal of $600 by May. I think I'm going to get to. For laser hair removal, I think I have 140 here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. And then we're going to add $20. For a total of 160. Now, why the heck do I have $40 left over? <laughs> I think I missed a category. Um, you know, I think I had originally put this for Sorrel's work pants and then, or for his pants fund, and he actually had that fully funded already. So, which category am I going to add $40 to? Trying to decide which one is like the more pressing. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put twenty dollars into the car fund, and I'm gonna put twenty dollars into the laser hair removal fund because those are kind of coming up soon. So I'll put those into the envelopes. Um, so yeah, like I said, I bought the veil, we bought the suit, and uh, I mentioned last week that I wanted to start running, and I have done that. I went, I've gone running three times in the morning now, which has been really good. Um, it's a lot less strenuous than I thought it would be, which is, thank goodness. <laughs> and most unfortunately, we, our, our dryer broke this week, so we just had the repairman here fixing it. We live in a hundred year old house, and I grew up in this town, and it was pretty cool because he comes into the house. And he goes, my grandpa built this house, uh, which was awesome. And then, yeah, we just had a chat about that. And he also recommended that we get our dryer vent cleaned out by a guy in town. So I gave him a call and that's going to be another like $275. But you know what? It's so much better than your house burning down because you have lint <laughs> trapped and causes a fire. So, you know, it's all these things owning a house, uh, they warn you, but they don't, you know, people don't fully explain to you that like, it's a lot of money to own a house on top of just, um, just mortgage payments. So if you're renting, don't disparage. Renting is not a bad thing. Renting was, that was the best time of my life. That's when I had the most money. So <laughs> anyways, but owning a house is great too. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.